What's happening guys my name is Aurav and welcome back to another video for my solutions and in this video I'm going to talk about two ways to deploy your react application to Azure app service so the first would be using will be using Visual Studio Code to deploy the application to app service second would be will be using Azure portal directly to deploy the application using the kudos console so let's get started with the first method like using Visual Studio Code how we can deploy it so you just have to go to extension here and just search like Azure app service And uh, you just need to install this Azure App Service extension here. And once the extension is installed, you can see that we have this Azure icon over here. So just click on it, and here you will be getting option to sign into Azure, create an account. If you don't have an account, you can create it using like from here. Or you can go to the Azure portal. So I'll just quickly click on sign into Azure, and if I just quickly click on, if I quickly click on allow, and I'll just hit my account here. And now you can see that I'm getting like you're signed in here. I'll just come back to a Visual Studio and here like you can see that this is my subscription guys and here we can see all the like services here i'll just quickly go to this option i'll just go and click on group by resource group so that we can see all the resource group here and now you can see that like all the resource group are present over here now i'll just quickly uh, expand my resource group that wherein my app services are present so here this is my app service if, if you don't have any like app service present in your resource group just click on this plus icon over here and like choose create app service web app and once you click on it you would be getting a few options to fill in like the windows in which the application will be running like the windows or linux and like the, the rest option basically you can also go to like portal.azure.com in order to create the web app and uh, like once you're done with it just come back here and uh, like re refresh your subscription once you refresh it like you can see your resource group like your app service under the resource group and uh, like here i'm just going to uh, deploy this application like uh, this react application to this app service that is basically bmhs node admin and if i just right click on it i'll have this option deploy to web app so if i just quickly click on deploy to web app this will deploy the application to azure app service but again before deploying the application we have to perform one more st step that is basically here we have this option to create a production build we use npm build so now if i come back to explorer here you can see like all the folder structure here so we have not built the application yet so in order to build the application for the production one we're going to be using a sort of command that is basically npm run build and once we execute the application here you can see that we'll be getting a new folder here that is built so like all the file like build files will be present under this build folder and when, when we deploy the application we'll be choosing build files to deploy it and now you can see that the build folder is ready to be deployed and uh, like if i just quickly like open it in explorer so you can see that like we have this build folder under this we have all the files so if when you try to deploy this application using Azure, you have to choose this build folder. So let's suppose if I want to deploy this application to, and I'll right click on this BMHS node admin like this app service, I'll click on deploy to web app. If I click on deploy to web app, here we have option to choose the folder. So we'll not be using the default folder, we'll be choosing build folder. So we'll just quickly click on browse. And here we have the build folder, we'll just select it. And we'll select it and and after choosing the folder i'm getting this sort of alert i'll just quickly click on deploy and once i click on deploy you can see that the deployment the deployment has started and it will take a few seconds to deploy it and now you can see that like the deployment has succeeded now if i just quickly click on browse website you can see that like our application is working absolutely fine like i can navigate to different pages and it is working absolutely fine if i just hover on the like react extension you can see that this page is using production build of react so this is the first step like how you can deploy the application using visual studio code second step is using like you can directly use the azure portal so if i just quickly go to portal.azure.com and uh, i'll just quickly go to my resource group here and under this uh, uh, this resource group i have all the app service like multiple web service here so i'll just choose one to deploy it since we have already deployed the application to bmhs node admin i'll be just choosing bmhs admin for now or bmhs hyphen admin and here like on the search bar you have to search like advanced tools once you click on advanced tool just click on go and this will basically open the kudos console
and here you just need to cl click on debug console and just click on cmd and now you can see the folder structure that is basically present in the app service now you have to go to select site and here like ww root folder so this is the folder wherein all the static files like whatever the build for files that we have built using npm run build we have to place all those files under this ww root folder so whatever like the existing files that are already there like under this folder just remove all the files and simply go to that folder wherein we have built the application wherein our build files are present just choose all file and just drag and drop it here and now you can see that like our file are basically copied and pasted here and if I just quickly go back and click on overview and if I quickly if I click on this domain you can see that li like our application is deployed and is working absolutely fine so these are the two ways guys you can deploy the application using visual studio and using the azure portal itself so that's it for today guys i hope this video was helpful to you so do not forget to like subscribe and sort of view and i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye bye